Hello guys, I am Marv and welcome to the channel. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. This is going to be a what is around you and what is coming towards you quickie reading for all 12 signs. This is going to serve as the intro, all right, because I did not want to say this 12 times. <laughs> Everything that you need is below in the description box for you and your collective and in the pent comments. Right now we are running a $35 special with all of the, the, uh, the applicable add-ons, okay? That's gonna be running from July 1st and it will not expire until Labor Day weekend, which is September the 8th, okay? Please book accordingly. These videos that I am doing right now, the quickie reading will not be extended for purchase. However, the number one energy readings are also being uploaded at the same time that these are. So if you're interested and those will be um, extended for purchase. So if you're interested in the extension, please make sure for those other videos that you look as usual in the description box um, and in the pinned comment for the extension. Remember guys, in the pinned comment, the general extended reading link will be at the top. The specific extended uh, reading for that specific video will be at the bottom okay and finally if you are interested in purchasing from marvelous madame wax Co., my wax shop you can do that and so much more at my website www.marvelousmadame.com thank you so much for listening and i'll see you in your video hello sagittarius this is going to be your july 2024 quickie energy reading we're going to be examining What's happening around you and what is coming towards you? What's external to you? What's coming towards you and what's around you? All of those good things. As explained in the intro, everything you need is below in the description box. I won't get into that. Sagittarius, we're going to be doing 10 cards from the Mystic Love Oracle. I will be reading them intuitively and weaving the story together. Have not done an all Oracle reading in a while. So I was excited about doing it, kind of bringing all my old school readings back. I think I'm going to break out of you versus them too. Don't that sound fun? I love those readings. I love to examine and go back and forth with different perspectives. I think I may do that for my other little quickie reader. Do like a little three card reader. This is for Sagittarius. Leading with intuition, inner knowing. Okay, um, there is an inner knowing that you must pay attention to, but you're traveling and experiencing new things. That's definitely in your wheelhouse, Sagittarius. So congratulations for that. Okay. In your heart place, we do have single and not in a relationship. Check you out. So that's good. I do want to let you know though, what's concerning is that there is a energy external to you coming through of being Wearing a false self mask and not showing true self, um, not showing their true self. I don't like that for you. Ooh, okay. Proposal. Some of you guys are crossing with a Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus who got the com proposal commitment card. You are single, not in a relationship. Someone external to you, maybe a friend, maybe an ex, wants to come back and offer you a commitment. And if you are a male, it does not matter. This person wants to marry you. All right. There's going to be a truth that's going to be coming out. That's going to make itself aware of you. Uh, make itself. Sorry. Make itself known a truth. OK. What I want to let you know is, is that you're going to realize this It's going to be a revelation for you. As far as your travel is concerned, in your experience and new things, please be aware that there is a snake in your midst. Things may not look like what it seems, okay? I don't know whether it's the same person. What is up with this legal matters card? In your heart space, we do have a legal matters card. The last couple of zodiac signs have gotten this. Um, we have Scorpio and we also have had Virgo. Virgo was getting a divorce. You're crossing with them um, or possibly um, going back and forth in child support. And ironically, the same energy for Scorpio from a child support angle with different cards. With you, on the other hand, I haven't figured it out yet. Hold on. 
Um, single, not in a relationship and legal matters. Is someone angry? Okay, so an apology is coming through. Someone is sorry. Sagittarius, spiritual awakening and realizations. All right, so, but this legal is in the heart place. Did you just divorce somebody? You're crossing with this damn Virgo. You're crossing with this Virgo. And Virgo's energy, they were in court with the ex, right? Who was angry, plot twist, because they were engaged to someone else. Are you dealing with a Virgo? Are you guys in a committed relationship? But then again, it says, that you're single and not in a relationship. Is this one of those things where you're single and to marry type thing? All right. I'm going to have to cheat on yours too. I need clarification. I am only, go it's like, this is the third reading in a row where I had to confirm or clarify this damn legal card. You're out of something and somebody is not happy that you single. Put it like that. Yep. Devil. Somebody's attached to you. You were in something. You didn't get married. You proposed. It didn't work out. You awoke to a, a, a revelation that you should stay single. Or for some of you, you propose when you know that in your heart, you're single. The third time this damn three of wands has come out. And then here's the ace of pentacles. Yeah, you were going to propose, but you would rather stay single and travel. You awoken to a realization that you should not marry this person. And you knew this. That was your intuition. You, you felt that it, there was something about this person or the situation that wasn't what it seems. I don't know what you guys shared. A house? Somebody moved out. Somebody wants to take you to court. If they haven't done, there's a dispute over land, money, sedge. Yeah. And this is you apologizing. This is not them apologizing. You don't want a damn commitment with this person. So you're apologizing for it. You were going to propose and then you changed your mind. Whatever the hell you were going to do, you were going to change your mind. You realize due to a spiritual awakening that you shouldn't be with this part because this legal matters card is in the heart place underneath single, not in a relationship. You don't want this. You, you don't want to marry this person. And I believe that you were the one that wore the, 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 the mask because and then you just came out and was honest. You, this is all self-realization because we're leading with intuition, inner knowing and we're. And we're ending with spiritual awakening and realization. All of this is your realization, Sagittarius, that you would rather experience new things and travel. And you did not want a commitment, even if it wasn't a proposal. We could take the proposal off the, the, the chopping block because there's two words. Proposal at the top, commitment at the bottom. Take which one it resonates, uh, that resonates with you. But I believe you just didn't want a commitment with this person. And maybe you were going to propose, but you changed your mind. Things were not as they seemed, Sagittarius, and you changed your mind. The devil clarifying legal matters lets me know that this person is bitter and messy. And that although they may have found fault with how you handled their heart in this situation, I'm definitely not saying that you were right in how you handled it, but you have the right. You're not... You're not necessarily right at how you handle this edge collective, but you have the right to change your mind responsibly. I'm not going to lecture you like I did the Leos because they had a, all of a sudden realization, fellow fire sign and didn't want a commitment with the person that they're dealing with either. But there's a little bit different. You will communicate. They may not all the time. <laughs> Them Leos love to act like they don't keep secrets. Mm hmm. And I'm not saying that you're perfect. I'm just saying that you have the right to change your mind. But this part and that's why you apologize. So 
the fact that the apology is here showing that you came to a realization and you admitted all of this because it, I'm sorry, apology is actually saying, is not saying apologize. It's saying I'm sorry, which means that there was communication. You told the truth. Wow. I think that this person is just going to find you. you the, the ace of pentacles that came out showing the home. It just shows me that you guys maybe live together. There's something that you share and this person may try to be petty and um, sue you in child and not child support court, small claims court. So Virgo was um, child support, ex-spousal type stuff. That was Virgo. Scorpio, I believe, was definitely child support. I believe that they had that. And now you, this feels like small claims court, like a dispute. If it's not legal, if legal doesn't get involved, you guys are going to dispute over property, living together, um, something with home. Okay. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. Sage is always a pleasure. I will see you. In your July 2024 number one energy read, that is going to be extended. You're going to start to see them uploaded simultaneously with this one. Okay. Bye, guys.